If I were to ask you to guess as to a percentage of how many MOTs carried out each year are fraudulent or fake or trying to cheat the system, write in the comments below what sort of percentage you think that is because these numbers are going to surprise you. So there are some 60,000 privately employed MOT testers around the country in around about 23,000 stations around Great Britain. And the DVSA is responsible for regulating all of these MOTs to provide that they are conducted to the relevant standard. All in all, there are some 30 million MOTs carried out annually and most of those are conducted to the appropriate standard. As a testimony to the success of these testings and standards, only 2% of road incidents are due to mechanical failings and problems. Between 2021 and 2022, official records show that only 1,324 of the 30 odd million tests that are carried out were fraudulent, but for those that were, there were some serious consequences. So as a percentage, see how accurate you were. That represents 0.004% of the MOTs carried out that were fraudulent. However, for those that are found guilty of fraudulent MOT tests, one such case is quite staggering. One such inspection of Thornton Granville of Mitcham was following a complaint about a vehicle which had an MOT conducted on it, which was in a shocking state of disrepair. An inspection found the vehicle to have 21 different faults, including missing brake pads and a missing anti-roll bar. Furthermore, the corrosion on the chassis of the vehicle was so severe that the security of the body was reduced by more than 50%. When presented with all of the evidence, the tester admitted and subsequently pleaded guilty to issuing 152 fraudulent MOT certificates at the City of London Magistrates Court in March. He was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment for these charges, suspended for two years, on the condition that he completed 240 hours of unpaid work within that period, and paid a contribution towards the prosecution costs of £5,000. As a side note, a sentence can only be suspended, meaning they don't go immediately to prison, if the sentence is between 14 days and two years. So all in all, let me know if you are surprised by those numbers. I personally found them quite reassuring. So please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.